Hello everyone and welcome to Max's Gym Challenge episode number 22. This is Max's first attempt against the Steel Types after he beats the Steel Types and I will yeah, after he beats the Steel Types and one more team, he will be proceeding on to the sec to the second checkpoint where he'll be able to swap over some Pokemon in this team if he so desires. But with that being said, let's get into this battle, see how he does against the Steel Types. So I'm going to lead off my Aegis Slash, um, because that seems like the safest option for me. And he's going to lead off with his Golem. So he's going to start off using Stealth Rock, just to get the set up on me, like he does in every other battle, apart from battle number 15. And I'm going to change my attack form straight away to get Sacred Sword up, just to attack, do as much damage as I can. I'm going to change to my um, shield form again now. Because I know an earthquake is coming. Or predicted an earthquake coming. But no, he went with rock polish to try and outspeed all my Pokemon. Which um, he now does. I go He goes with earthquake, whilst I'm going to go with sword stance. But of course I didn't get to land a sword stance because um, the earthquake one shot in my e slash. So I'm, I, I went with my sizzle then. It gets hit by the stealth rock. And um, he goes with rock side whilst I go with um, sword stance. Luckily I don't flinch so he's not getting the luck like he got in the last battle he had. And I go Bullet Punch just to finish off that Golem. His next Pokemon is Blaziken, which is one I was honestly dreading. And he's going to go Blaze Kick and it's going to finish off my Sizzle. Speed Boost is going to raise his speed up as well, so now he's faster than all my Pokemon. Not like he already was or anything. I'm going to send out my Aggron next. And Blaziken is going to go Sky Uppercut, which is going to do a ton of damage to me. Finish me off. And the Stealth Rock broke my sturdy ability, so yeah, I was possible to get one trust there. I send out my Magnezone next to try and paralyze it and slow it down. So Blaze Kick's gonna do a ton of damage to me, but luckily I hang in there on one HP. Thunder Wave I'm gonna use to paralyze it and slow it down. So hopefully my last few Pokemon, my last two Pokemon can take care of it. And well, Blaziken gets paralyzed against Magnusone, so I get to land a Discharge, which does over half damage and uh, nearly takes down a Blaziken. I'm going to get hit by another Blaze Kick, which is going to finish off the Magnusone. And the speed's still going up, up and up and up. I send out my Metagross now. And I'm going to Mega Evolve it, as it is my Mega for this team. I'm going to go with Bullet Punch though, as I like to think it would take it down from that. And um, no, my luck it would go through, yep. And it uses Inferno Overdrive. So this is going to do all of Metagross's HP worth of damage and it's going to finish off my Metagross. Leaving me with one remaining Pokemon left which is Excadrill. So 
So he's gonna, he actually gets paralyzed this time, which is good, but it's still one versus four. So I use Earthquake, take down the Blaziken, making it now one versus four. And I just hope and pray for the best, pretty much now. He sends out Greninja first, because of course he does. And he goes to Scold, which is gonna do all of my extra drills health worth of damage and KO it. Because it was a critical hit. I like to think the crit did matter, but it probably didn't. But yeah, that was the end of that battle. That was um the his first attempt against Steel Types. Draw me in the next battle, which will be Max's attempt against the final team before the second checkpoint. Till then, peace out.